plug the gas lines in yet because I have the EVAP thingy that I broke. It's a big long Z looking thing and it gets threaded through the intake manifold. So I'm really not tightening any of this stuff down right here until I can thread that thing through. Uh, and then of course there's more stuff on top. But uh, I was able to get this guy started over here and it looks like his pins are lining up with where they're supposed to be on the firewall. I'm probably not gonna, probably not gonna put those back until I make sure that everything is good here. I'll make sure I didn't miss any kind of connections here. But the connections, as far as I can remember them, uh, down on the block was a crank sensor. Uh, there was an oil uh, pressure sensor down there. Uh, one of the wires went to ground. There's this big ground strap that went to the block for ground. Might have been another sensor down there. I don't remember. Here's a sensor back here that I've labeled number four. I still don't know what the heck that is. And then there are five sensors on each side one for each fuel injector and then one for the main uh, I don't know whether that's for the I forget whether that's for coil packs or whether that's for uh, uh, fuel injectors but uh, so five on each side that's ten uh, there's eleven there's twelve uh, uh, oil is thirteen can is fourteen uh, down below there's two more sensors now there's three more sensors uh, on this line. I think two go one, one or two go in the alternator, and I forget there's two, two or three that go into the throttle body too. I forgot about those guys. Uh, over here, ultimately when I put the air box back in, I think it's a mass airflow sensor. There's a bottle sensor. There is a accumulator sensor, and then down the line. Uh, O2 sensors before and after the catalytic converter. That's all I remember for now. Did I start recording? Alright. Those are the wires that are coming down on the driver's side from the... You can see the power steering pulley. Those wires come down and there's a little this is right at the front of the uh, right at the front of the oil pan. It comes across there, and there's a little clip. It just kind of slides towards the passenger side. There's a clip on the passenger side. Now on the driver's side, it's attached by that little 10 millimeter right there. So that's what holds them in place, and then they continue to go on. Now they go along. The they go along the passenger side of the oil pan and there's actually a spot where the transmission lines uh, and those other wires are bolted in to the side of the oil pan. It's a little 10 millimeter, I think. And then they continue on back. Uh, Beach is a crankshaft sensor. And then there's probably oh, there's a black one. What are you, black one? Black with blue. Throttle body. This is the throttle body that I spent hours porting and polishing. And if you want to see the process that I used to port and polish it, I'll put a link to the video right here. But, after all that hard work, Time to go back on. I already put the fresh gasket on there. What we have here, we got a blue.
a second. And don't forget the rubber hose that goes into the bottom of the uh, throttle body. All right, next is this EVAP thingamajig, I think. Where do you go, Mr. EVAP thingamajig? There we are, Mr. EVAP thingy. Not quite ready yet, though. She's here. Yeah, still gotta get to this for my catch can. This is where the, right here, it's got a nozzle going that way. This is where the original PCV came back into. Oh, it's right here. The original PCV came back into the uh, intake manifold from the valve cover. And it's shooting off towards the driver's side. Thing left really at this point is this plate with these three bolts right here, and then this guy back here. I think, I think he goes back yonder, like so. Yeah, that's where he goes. He goes there, and this guy comes here, like so. Next on my list is the water pump. There's the old water pump. And here's new water pump. Six bolts. And I just, uh, I had made a cutout, a little template for where the uh, bolts go, because I'm not sure whether they were different or not, but I uh, thought it was a good idea to make a template. I saw somebody on the internet do it. So, uh, six bolts, and there it is, and then I got a couple uh, Felpro gaskets right here, and uh, six bolts, should go smoothly. I put the gaskets on, and I'm hoping that I can get a couple of those bolts on there, uh, so I don't have to worry about gasket placement, but that's the way I'm going to try it. Let's see what we got here, water pump. V8 engine, step one, 132 inch pounds and 22 foot pounds. So we'll go 100 and, what was that, 32? Do uh, two passes. 